Hey guys, what's your it's Ricardo DFW Junk Guys Junk Removal Service. Diego? Hola. Alright guys, so I am in my truck right now. It is raining outside. It's not been a great day for us. Uh, the video that I'm doing today, um, this is kind of awkward. I want to talk to you about uh, what went on today, and that's why I'm doing a video today. Um, we actually started off with two jobs today, this morning. It was one of the worst days I've had probably in the last, I don't know, years. Uh, we only had two jobs on the schedule. And then, as we're, we're warming up the truck, getting ready to go to work, one of the jobs canceled. I mean, literally, they just called and they said, cancel it, we're doing it for tomorrow. And that is actually a vending machine in Addison, Texas. And I said, okay, no problem, we'll do it tomorrow. So, uh, with that, guys, uh, we drove off to the first job in Colleyville, Texas, and that was a refrigerator removal. But while I'm at, refri at the removal in, in, in Colleyville, we ended up getting five more jobs. In about 30 minutes, we booked up the whole schedule, and I'm doing all the jobs right now. So, here's what I wanted to talk about. Uh, we went across a guy today that wanted more junk picked up and he was asking about our pricing and how we price things, okay? And I was like, okay, you know, I'll explain it to him. And then he said, well, that's a lot cheaper than 1-800-JUNK. And I said, well, how do you know that? Well, supposedly he had checked prices with 1-800-JUNK and Junk King before he called me. So let's talk about trailer pricing and how to properly try, how to properly price your trailer because I think it's important that you're not charging more than what you can okay and I think a lot of people try this they they don't know how to price a trailer and what they do is they they charge an amount of money that is just not reasonable for the trailer they're trying to just rob people out here okay so let's talk about my trailer first of all here's how we do it okay guys really quick my trailer is 16 foot long it's a 16 foot long trailer uh, it is eight foot wide and about seven foot high okay uh we charge four hundred dollars that's four hundred dollars for the whole trailer to be fooled up and if it's halfway full we charge 250 and then a third of the trailer is 150 now why did i charge it that way okay first of all why don't i have one third one fourth one fifth one sixth one eighth okay first of all that shit is way too complicated, okay? I've seen people's website where they're charging like half and then 65%, 75%, 85%. I don't give a fuck about that. Listen, guys, if I get to a house and it's close to $400, I'm going to charge $400. Bucks. If it's $375, i am at $400. See, that's where y'all messed up, guys, okay? All these people who are charging for... 10%, 20%, 30%, 40%, 50%, 60%. Y'all are stupid. That's the most stupidest shit I've ever heard. Listen, if it's about 40% of my trailer, I'm going to charge you $250, which is half my trailer. That's why I got to that point. That's why I only made the charges that much. I did $150, $250, $400. Because if it's almost to that price, I can go up and bump it up just a little bit more and make more money. It's kind of dumb to be charging $375 when it's close to 400 you might as well just charge 400 bucks the customer uh, he doesn't care sometimes because you've done such a great job i mean really it's 25 bucks you cleaned out this person's garage and you're going to care about 25 dollars you're making 400 dollars in less than an hour or two hours i mean really who makes that right i'll tell you who doesn't make it doctors and lawyers we do all right guys so let's talk about your trailer so Really quick, if you have a 14-foot trailer and it has four-foot walls, don't even think about charging $400, okay? You cannot get $400 bucks for that. If you have a 12-foot trailer, four-foot walls, you cannot get $400. Bucks. So stop ripping off the customer, okay? So I want to clarify with you one more time. If you have a 14-foot trailer with four-foot walls and you're trying to hustle a customer for $400, bucks, Trust me, they know what you're doing, okay? You, first of all, are not the junk guys. You are not 1-800-JUNK. You are not junk king, and I'm not even comparing myself to them. The problem is you have a dump trailer that you've decided to put four-foot walls on, and you're thinking you can hustle a customer like that, okay? And you're wondering why you don't have a lot of jobs? It's because they know you're ripping them off, okay? They know you are. Listen, guys, the best you can do with a 12-foot or 14-foot trailer, 
with four foot walls is at least 300 bucks okay so stop doing that stop charging because you have four foot walls listen i stack my stuff eight foot high in my trailer and i'm still charging them 400 bucks guys it's not about how much i'm gonna rip on listen guys i always tell customers this i said ma'am if i fill up my trailer i'm gonna charge you 400 bucks that's my fee if it's halfway it's 250 and a third of it's 150 I'm not trying to charge and fill up my whole trailer with you, ma'am. I'm not going to get rich off of one job. I'm going to get rich off of five jobs. That's how I'm going to get money. Okay? So people like knowing that you're not hustling just for one job. If I could charge a person $300 or, or $250 for a job, I'm better satisfied because you know what? The next job, I'm going to get them for $250 also, and that's $500 out of my trailer. That's how I make more money. Guys, I've once... Uh, just last week I did like six jobs in a day and out of those six jobs almost every job was hundred and fifty dollars do your fucking math guys that's over eight hundred dollars out of one trailer why because I was able to do hundred and fifty with one customer hundred and fifty with another customer in the same trailer man you know just because a person might fill out the trailer for 400 bucks doesn't mean I can put I can't put more stuff in the trailer so again I want to reiterate and tell y'all guys comprehensively you cannot be charging $400 for a 12 foot or a 14 foot trailer with four foot walls you are not junking you are not 1-800 junk you can't do it guys okay you just can't do it if you have a 16 foot trailer with eight foot walls or four foot walls maybe you can pull off 400 bucks but stop kidding yourself okay stop kidding yourself guys you cannot and should not be charging that much you know why if you have a trailer, okay, and you have a 16-foot trailer or an 18-foot trailer, and you're charging 1-800 junk prices or junking prices, a shame, man. You should be ashamed. You're not them. You do not have the marketing uh, of fees that they have. They they pay for Google AdWords. They're paying for all these fees. You're not doing that, man. And you're trying to gouge people like that. Come on, guys. A little common sense, guys. Do not ever think that you can compare yourself to 1-800-JUNK or Junk King. You're just not going to, okay, guys? I don't compare myself to them. We do run circles around them. I mean, dude, come on. You're a small company with one truck and one trailer. And you're thinking, or you have two trucks and two trailers, whatever. And you're thinking that you can charge as much as they're charging? No. I'll tell you something. A full trailer with 1-800-JUNK their box truck is about 10 or 12 yards something like that and they charge six hundred dollars they're 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 showing up fee is about 139 or 140 bucks same thing for uh junk king they charge around the same price i'm not sure i think it's 575 a bit cheaper but guys we can't be doing that we are not them okay and i'm not saying junk king their box their box trucks are actually bigger than 1-800 junks I don't know what they charge. I really don't care. I don't interest myself in what 1-800-JUNK or Junking is doing, but we are not them, so let's not compare ourselves. So our business is not like their business, okay, guys? So let's stop playing around. Just charge fair, guys. If you have a dump trailer and you're making payments on the trailer and you're charging $400 for a 12-yard or 14-yard trailer, you should be ashamed, man. Don't charge that much, okay, guys? So don't put yourself in that place. 300 bucks, 150. You know, and this whole thing about filling up one third and one third and one half of one third and one fourth and one sixth and one seventh, that's stupid shit. Okay, you don't know what you're doing, so stop doing it, okay? Don't do that. Just have basic problems, basic pricing, less problems, okay? Basic pricing, less problems. That's how you need to price your trailer, guys. You know what I mean? It's either 400 bucks, 300 bucks, half is half the price, or whatever you want to do with that, okay? Just, just price it like that. Why do you think I charge half a trailer for 250 and not the full trailer for 500 Ah, marking strategies, guys. That's why I price it that way. Listen, I'm hoping that when people call me, they don't fill up my trailer. I actually hope that I'm getting them at 300 Why? Because my next job, I'm going to get them at 250 That's why. That's exactly why. Okay, so let's talk about this truck that I'm carrying right now. The truck is totally full. I'm in the F550. And let me tell you what kind of work I've done out of the F550. 
Okay, so if someone fills up the F550 with trash, I usually charge about 200 bucks. That's my flat fee on this truck. Why? It holds more than a normal pickup truck load. So don't try to think you're gonna get as much. I can outdo any 350 extended cab, any F250 extended cabs with this 550. This 550 holds a lot of trash, okay? But today, let me tell you what I've done. So far, I've done four jobs out of this truck, okay? Let's talk about those jobs really quick, why I, I can charge more. Okay, so far, I've done a $150 job off this truck. I've done a $120, $25 job. I've done a $45 refrigerator, and I've done an $85 couch. And I'm about to go do a futon right now for 75 bucks. Is it all gonna fit? I have no idea. But I'm gonna put it in the back of that truck. So I'm actually gonna put out a little more than 400 something bucks, I think it's a change, uh, out of just the back of pickup of my truck. Just out the back of the truck, fuck it. That's what I'm trying to say. Uh, why? Because I'm able to multiply these jobs and put them in the back of my truck and make more money. Okay, now if someone charge, you know, comes out and says, hey, I want to fill the back of your pickup truck, the best I can do is 200 bucks out the back of my pickup truck. But single items, oh yeah, I can get them for single items. You should too, you should try. Listen, if you like this video about pricing, guys, let me know below, at the links below. And don't forget to sign up also for the 2018 Dallas Junk Removal Summit. If you're interested in coming, loaning, knowing a little about the Junk Guys business and how we do business and how to rank your website and all the Craigslist, Facebook, all that crap put together, you gotta come to the summit. It's absolutely free. Stop being a cheapskate. Buy an airline ticket. Jesus Christ. This is gonna help you out so, so much. It's gonna give you a jump on your business like putting two jumper cables on the heartbeat of your business. It's gonna help you out. Trust me. It will help you out. All right, guys. That's gonna end it for me. Don't forget to subscribe over on the right side. On the left side, check out my other videos. Diego, say goodbye, buddy. Adios, amigo. Bye-bye.